Hey guys, welcome back. Using SageMaker uh, principal component analysis algorithm, we're going to do some unsupervised learning on the drug uh, data set classification data set from Kaggle. Okay, guys. Get your execution role, create your bucket, name it whatever you want, and then um, train data equals your data. We're going to do a label encoder and fill in A to make sure there's no zeros. Train data equals drop drug. Y equals drug. Train test split. And then upload it. Name your key whatever you want. And then upload to the S3 bucket. Your train and test data. Okay. Your image URI, PCA, and then it's the latest. Your X train shape, this is what you're going to do for feature dim, which is what you do for most algorithms in general with feature dim. Whether it's a linear learner or a K and N, your shape. Okay, these are the parameters. And then remember, you have to make your component less than your feature dim. Subtract mean equals true. You can do randomized or regular, but I did randomized. Select your batch size wisely and fit. And then there we go. Okay, guys. Data capture configuration. Now remember, send it wherever you're, you want your data to go. Okay. Now we're going to predict the X test, the projections. Each projection will show the arrays. Of course, they're not on the same index, so you can't put them in the pandas data frame. Now the eigendigits, the MP array. Here we go. Out of the four eigendigits. It's another way. This is another way to get predictions. I just did this as an example. Okay. Yeah, I was going to do it again, but... Okay. Now, the default model monitor to alert you to model drift. Remember, make it at this instance, and be careful uh, how small or how big you put in volume size. You don't want to make it too small, and you got a lot of data. Okay. Maximum runtime, it's up to you. The baseline data set. Although, it, for future reference, if you're doing this for production, it would be wiser to use a bigger number than that. Otherwise, your default model monitor can fail when it runs an execution. The original data set, header equals true. And there's your processing job. You can see this in the logs also. You know, for processing jobs under SageMaker. Okay. Now, there's your baselines and constraints. We're going to create our first schedule. Name it whatever you want. Now, remember, before you can delete the model or the endpoint, you have to delete the monitoring schedule. Okay, it's going to run hourly. List executions, baseline constraints. And then I'm going to put these in a pandas data frame. Now, the reason why I couldn't put these in a pandas data frame is the arrays are not on the same index as the test. 
is working. Even if I flattened them, it wouldn't be on the same, so it wouldn't work. Okay. There's your suggested constraints and all that. And remember, this is how you delete the monitoring schedule when it comes down to it. Okay, guys, I hope you learn from the... This is how you deploy a PCA. The reason why you want to upload it this way is so you don't get a protobuf error when you try and fit it. Okay, guys, that's all. Thank you.